I be like young Zachary? Tell me what it do. You know what it is. Hey, hey, hey. And I be like young Zachary. Guala P, tell me what it do. Y'all know what the fuck going on, Guala P, man. Damn. Yeah, yeah, man. So for the people that don't know, a total stranger. Where exactly are you from? I'm from 903. I'm from Tyler, Texas, man. Tyler, Shout Texas. Out. Yeah, hey, yeah. How long you been fucking around with the music shit? Been fucking around with the music my whole life. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, I see you right here in Atlanta right now. Sure. Met you at the New Music Monday shit. Like, just talk about the grind. Like, how, how has the grind been with the music? Like, have you always been on the road with it or is it just something new for you? Um, I've been on the road as far as, like, since I've been dealing with my manager as far as just going out of states, going to different states. But be doing shows from Dallas to Houston to East Texas, I've been on that since I've been home and dropping music. Yeah, hey, yeah. For sure. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, like, you know, checking back, checking your stats and your, and your resume back home, it's like, motherfuckers is really already playing your shit. Like, just talk about how did that even come about? Like, was it was the music shit, did it come natural? Or like, did you already have a fan base before you started fucking with the music? Or was you a street nigga? Like... How did, how, how did it get to a point where motherfuckers is like, we fucking with Garla P? Well, they knew me certified in the streets first. And yeah. then I came home, like I said, and dropped my music. And yeah. they just was like, oh, it's authentic. Yeah. So they ran with it and shit. They been behind me ever since. Yeah, yeah. And so how long how long were you gone uh, away? I did four years. Four, four years on the seven piece. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. So. Yeah, yeah, man. I know a lot of people like, you know, incarcerated, they come home and then that. They find, you know, they 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 telling and you know they they purpose in life. So yeah, just speak sure. about like when you was locked up. Was this something that you was thinking thinking of, or like you just came home and just rap just fell in your lap? Nah, I was writing songs. The song that you heard at New Music Mondays, that's yeah. from when I was in the pen. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Everything I didn't, everything that everybody hearing, I wrote while I was in jail. Yeah, yeah. So For what sure. is the song called? Uh, Holding Hold weight. weight. Yeah. Holding weight. Holding weight, like you did your damn thing, like just break down and holding weight. Like, how did the song come about? And, uh, really, the song came about. I had a fight with a nigga. Yeah. While I was in jail. Yeah. And then I was already getting some letters, like, damn, we can't wait till you come home and on the music. Then, see, after that, I was like, oh, yeah, this is more awesome. Like, I'm that nigga. I'm still, like, that's how the song came about. Like, I'm that nigga. Yeah. I'm holding weight, I'm on my own 10. So, shit. After that, who made who made the beat for all the way? I had bought the beat off YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so when it comes to like after East Texas, man, I know like it's not a lot of artists, you know what I'm saying, doing their shit, you know what I'm saying. You one of the few, you know what I'm saying. How does it feel to be one of the only the few, you know what I'm saying, coming coming from East Texas? I mean, it's a blessing because yeah. we really don't get the opportunity like that from where we from. Cause it's a small town, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So people that do get opportunities like that, just gotta take them and run with it. And when you get your shine, shine hard. Yeah, for sure. And so like, just let's take it all the way back, like from a child. Like, what type of kid were you in school? Like, were you a, were you an athlete? Were you a, a, a smart, intelligent kid? Like, you know, what type of kid were Man, you in school? I, I was. A, I was a trouble kid, an <laughs> athlete, yeah. and a smart kid, just all in one. You play football? Play football, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Was always getting uh, suspended, always getting expelled, yeah. always the ISS, yeah. but some, my grades was good here yeah. and so just So at, at no point while you was in ISS in the 6th, 7th, 8th grade, like, was music in the picture? Yeah, I was rapping, freestyling. They knew me for rapping then. For shit show? For sure. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, and yeah. even like, you know what I'm saying, like, so you playing football and shit too? Yeah, I play football, playing running back, corner, all that, and then... No big yeah. dreams of going to the NFL, NBA? Nah, no, I always wanted to be a rapper. Even when we was in school and the teacher used to ask, hey, what you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a rapper. Yeah, yeah. And they used to tell me, that's not a real job. Yeah, <laughs> well. Well, you see yourself in like five years, like, you still, you want to you wanna get into music, make the money, or you just want to, you know... Nah, I won't. When they bring my name up about the music, like, oh yeah, he makes some solid music. He make good music. Yeah, that's how I want, yeah, and I yeah. just want to be stamped. You want to be stamped, like, so outside of the music, like, do you have any like new new projects coming out? You know what I'm saying? Like outside of the mu the new music that I heard, like Hold Away, like you got a mixtape. Like, what do you got? October coming up? 15, man. Y'all stay tuned. October 15. 
you know, Creature 1.35, the mixtape. Y'all can go listen to my old shit, Creature, the album. We out there like that. All right, so what's one thing that you don't like about the industry, man? Because I know a lot of, like, the industry get weird at times. Like, I know in East Texas, it's hard coming out of East Texas. Like, what's one thing that you don't like about the industry? Probably where they don't be giving credit where credit do. Yeah. The most part. What, and, and, and what you mean by that? Just like me, I'm a fan of the game. Yeah. So if somebody makes something and they move me, yeah. I'm I'm rocking with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people they they make I like sound like damn you fuck with a nigga shit that that's bad. That ain't bad that you nigga made a song that you actually like, bro. Yeah. You just made a song that you fuck with. If you fucking with a nigga shit, you fucking with a nigga shit. Yeah. That's it. Hell yeah. yeah. If you had to compare yourself to anybody in the game, like who would it be? Like that's already in the game or like Myself, I don't think nobody could be like to a total stranger. Like, how would you describe your music in like two words? Drake and Future. Drake and Future. In two words, and just all around music. Yeah. I think I can rap, sing, and then I can turn up. That's one. What you feel like the game misses right now? Hmm. I say more uh, being being yourself as far as sounding like yourself. Yeah. Sounding like yourself. It seems like a lot of people like from their <laughs> regions, you know this person from there or, you know what I'm saying? Because they all sound like a rapper. Like, I just think, you know, sounding like yourself, being yourself. Yeah, yeah. It. Sounding like yourself. Like, and I know like you've been on, you know what I'm saying? Like you starting to get on the road and shit. Like. You got like any future collabs, like man, I know one day I'm gonna get a song with such and such, like anything like you wanna speak into existence? Yeah. Uh probably a song with Drake. Try and do a song with Drake. Try and do a song with Gucci. Yeah. And Them Kevin. co-signs a motherfucker too. Yeah. It's just like, you know, you get you get a co-sign like Drake or Gucci, it's like you out of here, like. For sure. So when it comes to the music, like, um, I, I know like it's East Texas like they y'all got your whole wave and I know a lot of people don't get a lot of cosigns from out that way like anybody in particular you know what I'm saying that you know to help you um, gain traction or you know what I'm saying to help your fan base and just really just cosigns you. Uh, J Dog, Seiko. Yeah. J Dog, Seiko for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. sure. J Dog sure. is a legend. J Dog a legend. So when yeah, he yeah. like oh this yeah it's that. For shit show, you know what I'm saying? Seiko doing his motherfucking thing, For like sure putting he he like he it's like he kicking the doors down. Need that. Yeah, yeah. Just speak about the relationship, like how did that come about? Me and Seiko been cool since we were like nine years old. Really, since we were like nine. Yeah. Uh um my little brother, R. I. P. and his sister, they were best friends and they yeah. both ended up passing. Yeah. But she passed first and then when that happened, me and him was like this. So shit, we've been like that ever since then. Yeah, yeah. And I know it's a lot of talent out there in East Texas, like, man, just like from what uh what's his name? Little T John, like T Jones. Everybody Free like that man. Yeah, yeah, like Freedom Mac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sure. a lot of motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, popping their shit, man, doing their best shit. Like, just speak about it, like, is East Texas slept on the most or shit? I feel like we are slept on because we uh a smaller city than the main cities that always get light shined on them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the bottom of the book. I feel like we're at the bottom, bottom of the book. So I feel like we got to work way more harder and really get in because they don't be trying to let us in like that. Yeah. You know that though? <laughs> you know. Hey, yeah, man. Any shout outs? Anybody you want to, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you get, get the flowers too, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Metric. Yeah. Shout out Dog Tie, shout out EB, shout out the 903, shout out Houston, man. Yeah. Shout out Texas, period. Yeah. Shout out ATL, we out here. It's like that. Hell yeah, yeah. All right, before we get out of here, man, let the people know who you locked in with right now. Man, I'm locked in with Lil Zach the DJ, man. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Yeah. Boom, boom! Go out, <laughs> go out P, what it is, right? What it is, man. What's going on, man? Yeah, locked yeah. in.